Hi, my name is Gurpreet and this thing in front of me is actually the Xbox One build from the Ben Hicks show from the Oven 14. So this is basically a tablet uh, being made out of the Xbox One. Unfortunately, when I received this from Element 14 in the UK and it got delivered, I think in, from the US to the India, uh, it, it could not, uh, it, it, it had a 110 uh, volt power supply in it and when I plugged it in, it kind of blew up. So you can check the old previous videos. I tried to debug it and I found out that part of the power supply was actually dead. And so essentially I replaced it with this. Uh, this is a Chinese manufactured um, power supply unit. It worked a bit uh, for like some time, like uh, a week or so and then ultimately I put it, boxed it away. Then when I plugged it out and you know I uh, started it up again, it didn't work. Uh, it seems like uh, the Xbox One has some issues and I really do not have the funds to buy a new power supply or buy all the new parts. So uh, what I did have was some building tools and I did have an old PlayStation 3. So I've been actually look, meaning to uh, make this thing into a portable. So since the Xbox One just didn't work out, so what I've already done is I've already taken the main bits out of this. So this is the uh, HDMI audio extractor board, this is the video driver and this is the power supply. What I've done is I've already taken out the Xbox One's uh, guts, the Blu-ray drive, the power supply, the, the antenna, the hard drive and everything else. And what I've done is I've also chucked away at the, I've actually basically brutalized it using a uh, Dremel. Uh, so I'm using a Dremel 3000 at this point because I do not have uh, a CNC router. I do have a 3D printer, but I do not have a router. So what I've done is I've tried to make the best of it. The objective here is to take the PlayStation 3. I've already taken the top off and I don't actually want to you know, do an extensive build like the Ben Hack build. So what I've done is you can see this thing will just fit in like that and I made it in such a way that I cut away just enough parts using uh, the Dremel by hand to just chuck away at the parts that would make this thing uh, fit. So now at this point it's more or less fitting onto the base. So the display and uh, everything else is just uh, come together. Of course you can see that the height of this thing is going to be incredibly large as opposed to what initially the build was supposed to be. I do not want to get rid of the fan. I don't actually want to do a lot of modding here. Here I have the access to the USB ports. I don't know if you can see this. There are USB ports here. Uh, this is the Blu-ray disc, uh, right? The eject button and the power button. So by cutting off parts of the, um, in the original case, so I'm basically hacking a hack. And what I intend to do is make sure make it in such a way that it kind of come, comes together using whatever parts I had. I just cut enough parts out of it. There we go. So you can see by reusing whatever cutouts I have, <coughs> I intend to refit it in such a way that it kind of makes the build. Uh, into a PlayStation 3 but of course there are some wires that have to take care of those things and everything you know. it's gonna have to it's gonna need some bit of work but uh, more or less uh, the objective here is going to be to try the entire try and fit the entire PlayStation 3 uh, into the original build says now there are there are there is a lot of uh, spacing and I need to actually, you know, uh, take care of that so that this thing will come comes together. Uh, the rest of this stuff is going to be uh, done by hand. So uh, since I do not have a CNC router, but I do have a 3D printer, what I will be doing is I'll be 3D printing parts um, for the rest of this. So I, I need a spacer here, and I need uh, something that can cover up this play, uh, space here. Okay. And if you have suggestions, please do let me know. It's I'm always open to this kind of stuff. And uh, some spacing here. Uh, what I intend to do right now <coughs> is use some, um, since I have these corner pieces uh, that can really, oops, sorry, so this corner piece can really fit in and this can actually work out. It's going to need some workmanship. I intend to put a piece of wooden ply, a uh, piece of plywood uh, and uh, fit it like on the top, on this side. 
on the bottom portion as well and uh, for this side because there is going to be some exposed parts in terms of the PlayStation 3 as well as uh, I need to access to the Blu-ray drive without actually destroying any parts of it. I've actually dismantled the PlayStation 3 and reassembled it because there is not a lot of uh, cable lengths and I don't want to go into all of that hack and what stuff right now. Maybe later on but not today. So what I want to do is just 3D print some spacers for this part just to expose the USB parts, USB cable ends. Uh, yeah, the power is going to, so this part is definitely going to stay exposed. It's, I just need to put in uh, enough spacing here so that it can just, you know, uh, fit together. So let's see how that thing works out. <laughs> 